This is Belladonna. Ooh, that's spooky. Oh my. What is going on here? Uh oh. Mm, nice head. I like the nice little key there. Oh, the physical sensation. Pain? I'm alive? I think I so. Thought. I don't feel alive. What's going on? I have no memories of anything before this point in time. Uh oh. My mind is tabula rasa. Yet, I have a language. That's right. I seem to be in some laboratory of sorts. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can find out what happened if I look around. Oh man, look at that key head. That does not look comfortable. Alright, so let's look around. My very first memory is waking up on this thing. Before that, nothing. Oh man. I wonder what I am. I think you're some kind of weird lean thing. I don't know, man. You don't look healthy. <laughs> now is not the time. Oh. Okay. Um, what about this journal There's page? A handwritten note here. Maybe it can shed some light on my situation. Yeah, maybe it can. What does it say? All right. It is with shaking hands and heavy heartbeats I gather before me the instruments of my last desperate attempt. I find myself on the threshold of my tales, a turning toils, bleh, a turning point. For should I fail tonight, I doubt I shall find the strength and resolve to continue. At my feet now lies the lifeless remains of my beautiful Belladonna. A few hours ago, my wife was alive and well, and now she has been cut open, dissected, altered, and artificially reconstructed. Oh, that is creepy. So he cut up his wife and made her into this thing? From the second she gave up her final breath, I worked tirelessly to preserve and prepare her corpus that I might infuse a spark of being back into her lifeless limbs. This is the final test of all my research. Um, wow. I have to cling to my conviction that will, she will regain her former grace. As I write, the engines of life are finally heating up. The last of preparations are coming into order. Success. The attempt was a success. She's alive. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, she's alive, all right. Creepy, There's but alive. There's a screwdriver in this toolbox. Better take it. That's right. You never know who you might have to stab with a screwdriver. Um, what's going to happen over there? Anything? This oil looks expensive. Let's waste it. <laughs> Let's waste it. That's right. Um, skull? A human skull or a paperweight? Who knows? Could be. Why can't it be both? I don't know why it can't be both. No, check this it out. It looks like the legs of a frog hooked up with wires. Oh. I'm pretty sure it moves when I'm not watching. Oh, no. You know, I just don't ever want to have to dissect anything. I just don't. I have no idea what's inside of this, but it glows. Ooh. Okay, is there anything else? Um, experiment, we looked at that. Brain in a jar, how about that? It's a brain in a jar. I wonder what it's thinking. <laughs> I was thinking, get me out of the jar and into a body. That's what it is thinking. Um, anything else? Bookshelf. Books. A lot of natural philosophy and chemistry. Something by an M.W. Shelley. Ooh, nice. Did you notice she has nice back muscles? She must be working out. Oh, an Iron Maiden. Ooh. A torture device turned into a strange machine. Mm-hmm. What kind of place is this? I don't know. It's some kind of a spooky laboratory your husband made. Apparently he was a real creeper. But now look, you're basically a monster high doll. All right, let's get out of here. Aww. It seems to be barred from the other side. I might be able to unscrew these hinges though. Okay. Let's check it out. The screws on these hinges are rusty and stuck. Oh. I need some lubricant to loosen them up. Okay. I wonder if this oil might help. I smeared some oil on the rusty screws. 
That should loosen them up. That's right. Now let's take our trusty little... <gasps> Yay! Oh, man. Okay. Let's check out the suit of armor. What a dedicated night to guard a damp dungeon like this. That's Maybe right. Maybe he was demoted. Oh, Maybe man. Maybe he likes the dark. Maybe he does. Maybe he's secretly a poet. I bet his name is Roland. Okay. Roland the poet. What about this? Another piece of paper. Uh-oh. This was written long before the last one. Is it dated then? All right. Um, so basically, kept a rat alive for one hour and 26 minutes. Oh dear. Um, Belladonna is increasingly distant. When our baby Lucas gave up his last breath, she lost all traces of her old self. <gasps> oh my gosh. So she lost her baby and she's depressed. I have turned my attention to the signs of life and death. So my own son will never return. I've ex accepted that now, but thanks to me and my work, the cold, ruthless contrast be between living and dead uh, will be in the future much softer. My wife has let our grief devour our whole. Hmm. Well, yeah, give her a second, dude. Oh my gosh. And so he thinks he's cheating on him. This guy, she's depressed. Wow. Okay. Nice. I mean, maybe she was, but after your kid dies, maybe, maybe you're just sad. Let's see. Stick? There's a long stick here. Perhaps it was used to try to chase away rats when trying to sleep. Ew. All right, we took the, we took it. It looks like someone has been sleeping quite a lot in this sorry excuse for a bed, and it was hardly the suit of armor. Well... But why would someone choose to sleep down here? I don't know. Maybe they wanted to. Another More journal page. From the lonely doctor. Cursed my miserable existence. The hopelessness from which I see no conceivable escape. Oh man. This guy needs some Prozac or something, I don't know. He does a lot of work. What is he missing? He cannot rid his mind of the idea that Belladonna has forgotten me and taken a new lover. Man, dude. This guy has issues. Issues. door. Uh-oh. Let's take a peek through. Alright, we're peeking. Oh, there's a key. It's the key I'm after. Yeah, I it is. I can't reach it with my hands. Uh, I a stick. I wonder what I can invent to retrieve it. The stick. The stick is long enough to reach the key, but how will I grab it? Oh, I must be missing something. Um. What was I supposed to pick up? No. Let's see. What creepy thing in there do I need to get? It looks like someone has been sleeping quite a lot in this sorry yep. excuse for a bed. I know. It's hardly the suit of armor. But That's true. Why would someone choose to sleep down here? I don't know that, that honey, but somebody. Uh, no, no, no. Keep going. What do we got? Let's see. Back to the laboratory, since I'm not sure what we can take. Um, bone saw? Oh, surgical tools. Shiny. I didn't see that last time. Um, let's just go over it one more time. Experiment. Magnet. I love magnets. How did I miss that? All right, well, we better try to be a little bit more thorough. The toolbox is empty. Okay, that's because we took it. Um, what else we got here? Oh, that brain in the jar. I'm just looking for anything to... Oh, look at that creepy mask. Um, you know, I bet it's that magnet, so let's go back and and see if that works. 
I think it will. Let's see, let's see. I want that key, I want that key. Go up the stairs. What are we gonna do when we find that creeper? That turned his wife into this thing. Okay, so. Another locked door. Yep. Let's take a peek through. Okay, I'm gonna peek. And we're gonna use the stick. The stick is long enough to reach the key, but how will I grab it? Um, we're gonna use the magnet. This is brilliant, but how will I get the magnet out there and then back again? I need um, longer arms. I wonder if I can get a refund on this stitched together body of mine. Okay, so how do I put them together? Stick, magnet. Look, I can attach the magnet Sweet. to the end of the stick. Ta-da! All right, do it. Another locked door. Let's take a peek through. All right, and then let us use that. Magnet on a stick, baby. Magnet on a stick. Let's hope this works. Oh, it's gonna work. Haha, just as planned. That's right, just as planned. We were both so thrilled. I got the basement key. Yay! All right, so let's unlock this door. Exactly, let's unlock the door, and then go through to the other side. Let's, let's see, let's see. Door. Okay, I'm. Oh, derp. 